Hello everyone, I'm Shruti and today we'll be exploring code.org and we'll be doing the string operation. So uh, first, our first step is to rename the project to string operation by Shruti. You can type your name over there and save it. So we have a different modes. We'll be using the code mode and the design mode. So the design mode is um, like, first we'll be using the de design mode actually. So we have different themes, I suppose. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay, I think I'll go for the watermelon theme. It looks interesting. Okay. So, um, so let's, uh, let's start the first step. So our first step is to drag and drop a label. Um, then we have many different options uh, for the designing part. So it is really interesting. Um, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Now I think I'll change the uh, text size a bit you know the font size to 17 and then and then um we will also we don't need to change the id actually the text will be type your name well you can see that the width is uh, a bit too much so i just would take this and um, I will also change the text alignment to center. So there are so many different options. You can change the font style, background color too if you want to, and then many other options. You can explore it yourself someday. See so many. Okay, so then uh, as we are done with the first step, we'll be going to the second step. Our second step is to drag and drop a text input. You have to give your name right uh, for the um, other part to work, the result to come. So we need a text input over here. So our ID is going to be input. Please hold on, I think, I think I can, um, like I like the arrangement already. I just increase the font size and the text alignment to center just like i did um so when i type my name it will be big enough and it will be in the center then we'll be needing three different buttons um and labels for them i'll tell you why well uh, three different uh, different buttons because um we we need to know the uppercase lowercase and the index for our name so we have to type a certain letter of our name and it will tell which um, number does it come in now suppose we take shruti my name then if i tell um, h it will take s as zero and h as one so uh, when i type h it will give uh, the number the index as one so uh, that is how it works well we'll see how it works and how it runs and all that in the end um, and after some time but first we are uh, going on with the designing part so let's move on. So we need three different buttons with the same width and same height. For me, I think uh, I want like that. So first I'll finish with the first button without adding the text to it. See how it works? I'll tell you. I'll change the width first. 115, I think. And the height, I suppose, 50. Okay, this looks good. I'll change the buttons ID as a upper case button because we need the upper case of our name then text nothing for now uh, i'll take the text alignment as center and also the font size also i'll do that text alignment center only it is in center good nothing else that i want to change now i'll duplicate them yes because i need um, three buttons in total so I took two more buttons and you will be able to see that the 
font size and the text alignment has remained the same X, uh, and the text also because I didn't type anything for the uppercase button uh, but I uh, the ID doesn't remain the same for all the three I observed that right now um, so the ID I'll keep for this is lower case button just like the get for uppercase button now I will change the text of the uppercase button to uppercase Then I'll just move it, I'll sh uh, you know, position. I'll change that position in the last. Text for the lower case button is lower case. Mm -hmm. For find index button, the ID is find index button. Text is find index the ways and everything is correct however i want it to be but i need the position to change i'll change the position for them well i'll just change it accordingly um how i want it to be all right Yes, I think it's perfect. Yes, okay. Um, well, now we'll have to work on the labels. We need labels to uh, for the result, right? We need the result to come out. So we need uh, labels. We need three labels, just like I did for the buttons. I'm going to duplicate the labels as well. But first I will work on the first label so that the other labels will be easier. Like I don't need to do much of uh, work for them, like change the text alignment and everything again. So that will be easier. Well, I'll click on this uh, thing and then change. I'll just change the ID to upper case label. I want the text. I don't need any text for that. And I'll change the uh, font size to 19 text alignment to center just like I did for the buttons right and then um, I think nothing else I think uh, well the text is done and uh, yes so I think I'll duplicate them now I as I think I'm done uh, doing everything I want so I'll duplicate bring them up near yes working just fine i think yes all right so um well this is done this part so um so i will just change for the lowercase button and the find index button i'll just change their labels for the okay for the lowercase uh label i'll be typing lower case label everything else is remains the same i don't want to change anything else the same way for find index label find index label will be the id uh, so we are done with the design part so let's see if it is running okay um well shruti see the upper case lowercase find index oh why is it not working <laughs> that is because we didn't go to the code part right so well um i'll just increase these this thing i don't know why but i think it's necessary mm. yes okay so well yes it looks correct uh just like i wanted okay this is good so uh well now we'll have to move on to the code part so now we are here with code uh the code mode 
so we'll be doing some coding right now so well first we need to go to the variables then we need to declare a variable this one uh name uh we have fx you have to write name over there and then we will go to ui controls get on event id we'll change it to upcase button then again we'll go to variables this time we are going to assign a variable the, the variable is going to be name over there here we'll go to ui controls get text then our id is going to be input now we'll go to set text id we'll keep as uppercase label i suppose yes and then um okay uppercase this is going to be name yes see done we are done with the uppercase part so when i run uh i type my name okay i just type it in normal letters and you can see uppercase is here uh, but you need to do the same thing for the other two but for find index it's going to be a little different some some change will come but i'll tell you how to do it so well um now we'll go to on event again for lower case this time on event where is on event this we here we go okay on event over here now we have to do the same thing that we did for the uh uppercase button now yes that is it then we have to go to variables then we are going to assign a variable name is equals to is equal to get text we have to get, uh, then get text id will keep input now again from ui controls set text id will give lower case label yes in place of text we'll go to variables lower to lower case and keep their name and we have to make sure that capital or small whatever you kept over here must be the same over here too everywhere um then now let's uh, go to the index find index part so over here find index we, we won't get the uh, result automatically we need uh, the index to give uh, to give us a display where it will ask us enter a letter that uh, which you want to find index of to display the index so we have for that uh, we uh, there's a change so what we have to do uh, just like normally we did we'll go to ui controls we'll get on event then we'll have to type a uh, find index button now uh, we'll go to variables sign a variable name is equals to then get text from ui controls input now we'll go to set text again find index label and here for the text thing we won't do name to uh, that thing but we will be doing just a minute uh, well we will have to go to index of um which is this index of and that string str will be name um and then we'll have to um take something like this now uh, we will remove prompt and keep it there and we will delete this now over here for enter a value i think we can keep enter a letter to okay wrong spelling to a letter to display index 
yes let's see if um, it is correct let's see if it is working if it is not we'll try to work it out uppercase correct lowercase yes find index okay so stu studio.code.org says enter a letter to display index did you observe that enter a letter to display index was what i gave over here and it's asking the same thing so uh, i think i'll go with h one just like i told you previously that shruti and shruti h is one it takes s as zero h as one r as two u as three t as four and i as five so that was all and uh well if you want to share it to anyone your relatives and something like that then you can do that just click on share and you will get sent to phone publish and stuff like that and then show advanced options well you just have to click on if you're uh, on a computer then you can do this if you want to copy paste and send it to someone or something then you can just click on uh, the link and then uh, CTRL V, which, uh, sorry, CTRL C, copy, and then you can paste it anywhere. So you can um, do so. Okay, that was all.